Well, hello to all good people of the world. This is Paul Whittakin, and I'll show my face here for the Mossad, I suppose. And uh, what I'm doing today is I'm going to be doing another presentation of you know what, the universal law of numbers, and I hope you learn something and I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you join the resistance. Okay, so I'm gonna move this up a little bit and it'll make it easier to see the numbers. And I'll try and deal with that. Okay, let's see if that shows the whole thing. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to discuss the 369 code. And uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll explain a little bit about how uh, the number system works. The number system works 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but I don't want to say that all the time. I'll make it a shortcut. I'll just say 369, 369, 369. It's the same thing as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In fact, it's just a triangle moving around in the circle. The circle made up of nine uh, segments, which is the same thing as 1, 4, 7, 1, 4, 7, 1, 4, 7, and 1, 4, 7 is 12, that's a 3. But if I want to say instead of 1, 4, 7 or 3, 6, 9, I can equally say 2, 5, 8, 2, 5, 8, 2, 5, 8, which in fact is the same thing. 1, 4, and 7 is 3, 2, 5, and 8 is 6, 3, 6 is 9, and 9 is 18 is a 9, 3, 6, 9. Okay, and... Uh, 1, 4, 7, well, 1, 4, 7, 1, 4, 7, 1, 4, 7, that's 3, 3, 3, that's a 9. Or 2, 5, 8, 2, 5, 8, 2, 5, 8, that's 6, 6, 6, 18, that's a 9, 2. Okay, so everything is going to be a 9. The, the, the number system is dictated by the number 9. Every number can turn into the number 9. Uh, and in fact, we ha I have ways of turning every number into every other number only because these numbers do work together. For instance, we have 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1. 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1. That's a major sequence. That's a code. We have it here. Uh, 2, 4, 8, uh, 7, 5, 1. We have it elsewhere too. It's uh, it basically dictates the system. It's the two four eight seven five one code. It's the three six nine code. Two four eight seven. This turns into a five one. Uh, for instance, two well two four eight six turns into a seven five and one. It's always embedded within, and the way it looks is just the way it's supposed to look because it's making those numbers. This is how the two, four, eight, seven, five, one number is working with five. Here it's working with uh, two, making a, a two and a seven, etc. And that's just what it does. So what we have here is we have the fundamental law of mathematics uh, because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And when we go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If I go 1, if I go 1, 4, 9, 7, 7, 9, 4, 1, 9, we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's always hiding behind the mask. It's like uh, the Wizard of Oz. You have to pull the curtain to see what's on the other side. You'll find the truth. Now, uh, between 1 and 4 is 3, 4 and 9, 5, 9 and 7, 7, 7 and 7, 9, 7 and 9, 2, 9 and 4, 4, 4 and 1, that's 6, and 1 and 9 is 8. So it's going 3, 5, 7, 9, 2, 4, 8, 6, and if we add those numbers together, we will see that we're going to get the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, maybe it's going backwards if, if you want to look at it that way, but it's always all only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Humans uh, don't take credit for that because this is the workings of the universe. It's universal. It applies to everything. It applies to electricity. It applies to magnetism. It applies to gravity. It, it applies to any chemical equation. All we're doing is bunching and grouping things together and then showing them that they're the same thing. What same thing? A number. What number? Between one and nine. 
what do you mean? It doesn't matter what number you have, how many digits it has, it's going to reduce to a number between 1 and 9. And it won't reduce to a 0 because 0 is not a number, and it's okay. We use it, it's there throughout, but no number will reduce to a 0. So any number, no matter how many digits it has, it's going to reduce to one of these numbers. It's going to be equal to that number, and it's going to behave like whatever number it reduces to. And that's the fundamental law of mathematics. And that law, I do believe, is uh, quite uh, evidently overlooked. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just basically put that down for a second. And I kind of did something over here, but I will erase that if I have the thing. Good, I have the thing. Okay, it's a little bit, I wanted to do it to, to show you what I was going to, to see if I even remember what I'm doing half the time. That's the damn, that's the God's honest truth. Okay, I'm not a good student, so I'm not a teacher, and I don't purport to be, and teaching, uh, okay, so this right here, this is the teacher, uh, it's also the textbook. This is the only textbook you ever need. All of this I'm doing here comes out of this textbook. When you're doing your problems, learning how it works, it will always correct you along the way because you'll see something popping out. You know, it's got to add up to, to nine, basically. And nines, you can get to nines all kinds of ways, right? Uh, one and eight, two and seven, three and six, four and five, and then the opposite, you just switch the numbers around. But anyway, okay, right here I have the number 7. And I have the number, uh, basically, I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to make that a 6. And I'm going to kind of do this. All right, I'm going to make that a 0. And we're going to look at that for a second. Okay, basically what we have here is we have the repeating sequence that occurs for the number 7 on the left-hand side which is this right here, 6049382711, okay? If you don't understand that, then just think of this, 49, well, 6049382711. In fact, a 2 and a 7, they are intricately related because they make a 9, and in effect, they're essentially the same number, uh, actually. And I will kind of illustrate for us uh, that for us today. Now here's sort of the point, my contention, we don't learn the number system right or math right because we overlook uh, the, the 369 code. We go, you know, 1 and 5 and 10. So 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. It's all very easy and it's all very true, but we are not looking at the picture correctly. Now, they do have these pictures, and if you focus your eyes in one way, you know, you're going to see some uh, image, and if you focus your eyes the other way, you're going to see another image, and what I'm trying to do is focus your eyes in on the 369 code, and then everything will become more clear for you, and you can find out uh, all about that. Now, basically, our minds work in these sequences. We are wired as such. We belong to the universe. It's all about, you know, you, you may not realize you're doing algebra when you're doing algebra because you're putting your socks in that drawer and your shirts in that drawer and you're hanging up your pants in the, in the closet. You're just rearranging and you're collecting and you're gathering and you're putting everything into its place. It's just the way our minds work. Now, I'm going to multiply a number like uh, 27 sevens. In other words, seven, 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 until I get to 27 of them, and then I'm going to square it, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And it's all very easy. Now, while I'm doing this, you go ahead and you get the answer on your calculators. Now, of course, your calculator is not going to do that because your calculator is AI. And AI is not the universe. That's the artificial universe, and what we're speaking of here is the natural world. So what I'm going to do here is, while you get your answer, I'm going to get my answer, because all I'm going to do is make a 9. And it's very easy to make a 9. 2, 7, 7, 2, 1, 8, 6, 3, 9, 5, 0, 6, 1, 7, 2, 8, 3, 9... Five, zero, okay, six, one, seven, 
two, nine. Okay, so I just did that, and while you were trying to do that with your calculator, your calculator uh, is going to give some kind of, uh, you know, weird numbers like, uh, whatever, 6.04 or something, you know, uh, yeah, 6.04 uh, times 10 to the whatever, and blah, 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 but it, it, it overlooks the very basic thing, which is that this makes a nine. This number makes a nine. This is the number seven, and we're making a nine. Six and three, zero, nine, four and five, nine and zero, three and six, and all numbers will do that. I'm just doing that with uh, the number seven right now, but we can do it with the number two, and it's very easy. I'm gonna erase that six and the three there, and I'm gonna change these numbers on the end. Well, where am I going to get them from? Well, I'm going to get them from right here. 1, 6, and 8, 3. So 1, 6 is going to turn into 1, 5, and that's going to be 8, 4. And excuse me, it's kind of hard for me to write like that. I'm a little bit whatever. But uh, what we see here is now I just change these numbers at the end, and I erase the 6 and the 3, and now we have the number 2, uh, 27 twos squared. It's uh, 4, 9, 3, 8, 2, 7, 1, blah, 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 blah. And then it's going to go 9, 5, 0, 6, 1, 7, 2, 8, 3. And we're going to look at that. Let me take a quick peek. It's, uh, okay, we turn the 7 into a 2. So let's say we're doing uh, 2 27 times. That's going to be 4, 9, well, zero in actuality. We don't want to think, we don't typically think of it like that, but it's there. Zero, four, nine, three, eight, two, seven, one, six. Uh, zero, four, nine, three, eight, two, seven, one, six. That's 18 of them. Zero, four, nine, three, eight, two, seven, one, five. Then it's going to go nine, five, zero, six, one, seven, two, eight, three. That's nine of them. Nine, five, oh, six, one, seven, two, eight, Three, that's 18 of them. Uh, 9506172284. Okay, so that's how it ends. So we do the repeating sequence in integrals of nine, intervals of nine, and then we just end the sequence. Okay, so we had seven 27 squared, and, or 27 of them, of them <laughs> squared, and we turned that into two 27 times squared by basically. But we arranged the number. This was 6 and 3. The 6 and 3 is still there. The 6 and 3 is still there. Uh, but the numbers, uh, 7 ends 7, 2, 9, where 2 ends uh, 2, 8, 4. Okay, 2, 8, 4. So we see that we turned it into a 9. And now we're going to look at something here that also illustrates uh, my point a little bit. Okay, if I find the chart where I put that down. There's some here, I don't know, but, okay, so let's just, here's a sequence right here, here's the sequence, 0493827161, that's the ending, a repeating sequence for uh, 2 on the left side, here's the repeating sequence on the right side, 9506172283, if we want to look at that we can, Okay, 0493827160493827161 0493827161 and then 9506172849506172283 9506172283 actually, right? 3 3. That's the repeating sequence. So let's add those together. No, we're not going to add those together. We're going to do it a little bit different. What I'm going to add together now, I'll just add the front of 2 to the front of 4. So 6, so 4, 9, 3, 8, 2, 7, 1. Okay, 6, so 4, 9, 3, 8, 2, 7, 1. It's very easy because I just copied it. 6, so 4, 9, 3, 8, 2, 7, 1. 6, so 4, 9, 3, 8, 2, 7, 1 will get a 7 and an 8 and a 9, and that's a 10, and that's a 12, 13, 14, 5, and 6. Okay, so what we have here is uh, 209-876-543. 209-876-543. Okay, so if we want to find that, 
we've got that right here. 209876543. Two, 209876543. Um, two, 209876543. Two, 209876543. So we see that the one and the eights, uh, we're getting the one and the eight out of the, uh, the two and the seven. Okay, so just like with the universal law of numbers, and what makes it so universal and ties the whole thing together in a sense is how when you, with the universal law of numbers, if you take these codes, 1, 4, 7, or 2, 5, and 8, or 3, 6, and 9, or 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, and even 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, for example, these are major codes, and you start adding them together or multiplying them, you will see that you're going to get the same codes back in reverse. And it just shows you how the thing is uh, rearranging itself uh, to make nines. If you like, you can call it the number nine code. It's all good. If you want to call it the number three code, it's all good. Because actually nine is divisible by three, so every number that's uh, a nine is going to be divisible by three. And in fact, uh, even though I'm not always showing you it in terms of that, because we're not really there yet, uh, it's very important to group the numbers in terms of uh, three numbers, because then you can look at that three like an, a unit, a segment. And that's sort of the point, because this whole thing here is a nine. I know that. This whole thing here, that's a nine. I know that. The multiplication table, that's a nine. I know that. It's all the 369 code. Uh, there's nothing, uh, you know, <laughs> questionable about it. If we believe in one plus one is two, we believe in the multiplication table, and we'll believe in the universal law of numbers, because the universal law of numbers, what it does is it takes these, uh, the universe of numbers, because this uh, comprises the entire universe of numbers and how they work. Uh, if we take the numbers and we start to divide them into segments, then we will uh, come to conclusions that we have these sequences and they are the repeating sequences and they will revolve and revolve and revolve, yet they will always be the same sequences. So once we get a uh, a, a, gr a grasp of that, then we can look at the sequences even in smaller segments. But anyway, so here's a number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 0, which is the repeating sequence on the left-hand side of 1. Very good. Here's 1, 2, 0, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 0, 9, eight. that's a repeating sequence on the right-hand side of the number 1. But we can say, okay, that's a number, if you want to call it an A, fine. And this is also a number. If you want to call that a B, fine. But we're not doing A's and B's. And uh, we're just basically sticking to the numbers. We don't see any square roots, derivatives, integrals, anything of the sort. There's no logarithm here, but it's all there. Uh, e is here. Uh, it's all inside of there. Now, uh, if we begin to understand the numbers, we will be able to group them together and we will see things. One, two, three, that's a six, okay? How about this? Zero, one, two is a three. Three and four is seven and five is 12, that's a three. Six and seven is 13 and eight is 21, that's a three. Three, three, three. One, two and three is a six. Four and five and six is a, a six. Seven, eight and nine is a six. Six, 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 that's a nine. So. Uh, 1 and 8, 2 and 7, 3 and 6, or 9 and 0, 8 and 1, 7 and 2. It's all just making a 9. That's all it knows how to do. The universe works like that. If I have a black cup of coffee and I throw some, uh, pour some cream in there, well, it was a 9. It was perfect. It was all stable. It was <laughs> just sitting there like a 9, and I threw all those molecules and uh, in there and now they're going to scramble around and the twos are going to hook up with the sevens and the threes with the sixes and the fours with the fives and etc it's just going to make a nine and it's going to do it in many multiple dimensions now in our world we have mathematics that's taught to us by the order takers who took so many orders that after a while they were given the, the authority to take, to give the orders. Now, I don't want you giving orders to anyone, and I don't want you taking orders from anyone. And now, we just solved a lot of the problems in the world. 
Okay? So, it's not about taking orders. It's not getting anything shoved down our throats. It's not watching somebody regurgitate something that they regurgitated on there. Uh, you know, from somebody they uh, got it from who was regurgitating on and on and on. All of that's well and good. I respect uh, educators and mathematicians and scientists and blah, 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 professors, whatever. However, what we are, are uh, subjected to is, okay, it's like this. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two. They go, no. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I know. And then it goes 11, I know, and 12, too, and I know that. But uh, if we do not see how the system is always uh, revolving around and reassembling itself and its uh, gravity is pushing and forcing it to come back to a nine. Okay, so uh, in our world, we have the three dimensions, okay? We have one dimension right here, okay? That's what this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a straight line. But then we have x squared, x to the third, x to the fourth, x to the fifth, x to the sixth and seventh, eighth, nine, tenth, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So they're repeating. Those dimensions are repeating. Right now we talk about, okay, we live in a one-dimensional world. No, we don't live in a two-dimensional world. No, we live in a three-dimensional world. It goes up, it goes down, it goes out, and it comes back this way too. That's three dimensions. In academia, they talk about a fourth dimension, which is time. And that's how far Einstein got us. And I happen to kind of believe in it. Uh, it's somehow believable, uh, but it is inadequate. It doesn't it doesn't uh, get past dimension number four, whatever that is. Let's say this is one, two, three, four. But we have five, six, seven, and then these six keep repeating over and over and over and over again. And this is why uh, they can't make the mathematics work. For instance, if we're dealing in two dimensions and we're talking about the Pythagorean theorem, for instance, it's very easy to see that in fact it works. However, if we throw that same triangle into warped space-time, that triangle isn't triangular anymore, it's all discombobulated. So the Pythagorean theorem isn't even going to work in that space-time. This also, it creates geometry. This creates geometry as well. I don't understand that geometry very well, but I can see what it is. They're triangles in a circle. You know, one, four, seven, and two, five, eight, and three, six, nine triangles. And they work in all dimensions. So in order for us to understand beyond where we are today in terms of uh, understanding the universe, we have to get into the extra dimensions and understand how they revolve and rotate. And uh, there's a lot of mystery in that because obviously science cannot uh, give us a complete picture. Uh, mathematics cannot give us a complete picture. Uh, we have music and literature and art uh, and they help us to understand things, but they're elusive. And even though all of those things, yes, they're following the 369 code, uh, they obviously are. I mean, you know, music. Bum, 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 ba, bum, 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 ba, bum. Okay, it's, it, it's just like, it, it's numbers too. Now, um, the thing about it is we don't understand what is going on yet beyond the initial four dimensions, if we even understand that at best. Now, we understand things and we have these beautiful things, uh, you know, Planck's constant or whatever and blah, blah, blah. But it's just basically humans, they saw, made observations and they, sh they showed that, you know, you can throw these numbers into this equation and it'll all kind of balance out. But in fact, it's not all balancing out. Uh, they're going, you know, the answer is uh, 1.2645 to 10 to the 27th, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but that's not what it is. It's literally 2 and 7 is a 9. Okay? 3 and 6 is a 9. That's all it can be. This is what the universe does. It follows the natural laws. We're learning things, regurgitating things. One person of authority says it. Another person of authority can 
confirms, and then the lie propagates. It only takes two people to propagate a lie, okay? And uh, it can go on forever. Now, it's not so much that it's a lie, it's just the wrong direction to understand how uh, the number system is working. So let's, let's, excuse me, I'll just do a little arithmetic with this right here quickly. And uh, you see, all of the numbers are going to fit together. So if I go uh, 5, okay, I want to do uh, 5. So uh, if I go 25 times uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I'm going to get 3086419751. Uh, or 1974, 691, 358025. Now, your calculator isn't going to do that one either, I don't believe, uh, because it's AI, okay? Uh, AI, well, it's of the beast. It, it's man. Uh, maybe it's uh, something else, as a matter of fact, that's, that's drawing up man into the abyss. You know, very well, it may be uh, Satan. I don't know, but... This is God, as is this, as is this. This is God's talk. God's talk is different than man's talk. People tell lies. This cannot tell a lie. It has no, it has no conception of dishonesty whatsoever. Now, it, it's a beautiful thing if you can learn it, so, uh, or learn of it. Now, I'm going to kind of back up and do more simplified things, uh, you know, I'll do it up the, in my traditional manner, but uh, what we have here is something that is, uh, you know, beyond comprehension. However, it has a lot of simplicity. So unlike math that you learn in school where you have to learn, you know, first you have to learn the multiplication and arithmetic, and then you can do some geometry and maybe some trigonometry and some algebra, and now you can do some calculus because you learned uh, the slope, you know, you learned uh, <laughs> uh, basically the distance formula and the slope of the line, and they go through all of that just so you can understand what a derivative is. Now, really, and you don't understand what a derivative or an integral is because uh, you don't understand the things that came before it. Well, it doesn't work like that with this. It doesn't matter where you are uh, in terms of math. You use this and it will give you the right answer if you're making the right, if you're following the patterns. And uh, that's the beautiful thing. It's the teacher, it's the textbook. It's going to correct your work as you go along. So uh, maybe that's, uh, will conclude it for me today. And please, what it teaches us also is to look behind the curtain, please. Uh, it's about peering uh, through, reading between the lines. Uh, one and four is five, one and seven is eight, one and one is two. That's two, five, eight, that's the two, five, eight code. Eight and one is nine, one and five is six, one and three is three. Okay, that's three, six, nine, but you don't see it three, six, nine. You gotta look at it. You know, you got to dig into it. You got to understand how the, 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 the numbers come together. And they all come together very beautifully. And uh, like I said, I'm going to basically do this in my traditional uh, way. But if we want to look, we can always see the 369 code. It's right here 963. That's 369. That's a 6. That's a 3. 5 and 4 is a 9. 5 and 4 is a 9. 2 and 4 is a 6. Three, six, nine. Uh, it's arranging, but it's always there. Uh, one and eight is a nine, zero, nine is a nine. Four and five, three and six. One and eight, nine and zero. Okay? Now, all we need uh, to understand how this thing works is if you know one side of this, then you'll get the other side because you'll make a nine now, won't you? So, uh, we see that four, I got the dots. Okay, so what's the problem? Here's the problem. Uh, 6 and 3, very good is 9. 3 and 6, very good is 9. 1 and 8, very good is 9. 9 and 0, very good is 9. Okay? 2 and 4 is, is not 9. Okay? Well, maybe I'm not doing at the right place. Okay. So I went 6, 3, 3, 6, 1, 8, 9, 0, and 6, 2. Okay, so 6, 2 is not a 9, so that has to turn into a 3, which it does. 
What about here? Six and four is not a nine. Is that where we're at? No, I think we've got to go four and four is not a nine. That's a five. Yes, now it's a nine. Two and seven, now it's a nine. Zero and nine is a nine. Eight and one is a nine. So that's, that's how you understand how this thing uh, changes and adapts as we go along because 4 squared is 16, 44 is 1936, uh, 444 squared 197136 and it's going to go 197491361975269136197530469136 six, that's how it works so you can get the ending sequence uh, but you still have the repeating sequence, 19753086.4. And the repeating sequence over here is going to be 5802 5802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135802469135